is Jim McKeith, Developer Evangelist with Embarcadero Technologies. I'm here to tell you about some of the special offers we have going on right now if you upgrade to XC5. If you upgrade to XC5 by the end of the year, you can upgrade from any existing version of Rad Studio, Delphi, or C++ Builder, get upgrade pricing as well as this incredible bundle of special offers. And that includes the InfoPower XC5 VCL Grid and Components Suite, as well as the InfoPower Grid for FireMonkey. So let's go ahead and take a look at the InfoPower Grid here in action. This is the InfoPower Studio demo that ships with the VCL edition. Now one of the things the InfoPower Grid is famous for is making it easier for your users to get to the data that they're looking for. So here this is an example showing how you can nest master detail information. So we have the customer table here and we can expand that and we get the details, the or of the orders embedded right inside the customer table. So this is all of the orders for that specific customer. And we can actually further expand this and see the details of that order. So this is a great way to get your users right to the data they're looking for very quickly and very efficiently for screen real estate. Also, it gives you great flexibility for the way the users can organize the data that's being displayed. So here we see the data is grouped by company, but your user can also come in here and right click and change the group by to the shipping method. So now it's grouped by shipping method and they can change it to any column they want to for group by and then also sort it however they want to. Also gives them the option to uh, search in here. So I can say, show me um, employee number 145 and there we go now it's flagged them with the blue here to show which ones are 145 and I can navigate between those so it's great ways for your users to be able to access the data exactly they want to whether it be grouping sorting or searching when it comes to entering data this makes it really easy for customers to enter the data quickly and easily the ditto function allows them to come in here and add a new record and then they can use the uh, control D to ditto the below field. So we just copied that one value here from the previous record or we can use control R to copy every field in that record. Um, you can change which fields are being copied or not copied and configure this quite a bit extensively. So this is just an ex one brief example of how you can do this and this is all built into the InfoPower Grid. There's lots of other features in the InfoPower Grid. It's very quick and easy to get very complex data displayed to your users quickly and easily. And of course, the Grid is just one part of the InfoPower Studio that ships with XE5 if you upgrade before the end of the year. With the FireMonkey edition of the InfoPower Grid, there's actually a demo available in the Google Play Store. So you can go to the Google Play Store and install this on your Android device and see the Grid in action on your own device. Now I'm going to tell you right now that I'm using VNC to display the contents of my Nexus 7 screen for the video. That means that all the scrolling can be a lot more choppy because of VNC. When you run this on your actual device, the scrolling will be very smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the demo here, and I'm presented with an instance of the grid. So let's just start at the top here with the select style book. This gives us the option of changing the style that is applied to the grid. So we're going to switch to the diamond style and see what it looks like with the diamond style applied. You could apply any style you wanted to in your application and it would be applied to the grid as well. I'm going to use this search box here to add a P here. And so when I add the P, you'll notice that every field with a record that has a P is highlighted in blue. I can take the step farther and actually type Peter and it filters it down to just the one record that has a first name Peter in it. This gives your users a quick way to locate the data they're looking for. We can also sort any of the columns by just tapping the column header. So I tap company name, it's sorted by company name. If I tap it again, it inverts the sort order. Same thing works for first name, last name, or any of the columns. We can also edit these. So if I just tap in this field here, I can actually edit it. And we'll say Jim. I hit enter and it goes to the next column. Or if I go to the date column 
and tapping here, it actually brings up the T calendar edit. Now you can bring up any custom editor you want to or native editor in this case. So I can quickly select the date I want to have and apply that to the record. We can use the nav bar down at the bottom to jump to the end of the data set or the beginning of the data set. We can quickly insert new records or delete records as well. This gives us all of the functionality we expect from a grid available in our mobile devices. Now for right now, I can scroll up and down vertically, but not horizontally because all of the columns are displayed. But if I turn my Nexus 7 sideways so the screen rotates, I can now use the horizontal scrolling in order to scroll horizontally to access the, all the columns. So this means you could actually make use of this grid on a phone if you wanted to, although you'd only see a much smaller portion of the columns. But thanks to the scrolling, the user could scroll around and find the columns they're looking for. Thanks to the combination of the VCL version of the InfoPower Grid and the FireMonkey InfoPower Grid, you can now have a fabulous grid available on Windows, OS X, iOS, and Android, every place that you want to develop an app with XC5. So go on over to Embarcadero.com slash radoffer and take advantage of this special offer before time runs out.